In our rounds discussion this morning on spinal cord injury, we discussed a very unique and specific problem that patients with a spinal cord injury can have uh, that is maybe something for all of us to recognize. Uh, maybe we have a loved one with a spinal cord problem uh, because it is a life-threatening condition. Patients that have a spinal cord injury above the level of about T5 or T6, which is the, the mid-thoracic spine, have a risk of developing a condition called autonomic dysreflexia. A very fancy term, but it's basically a situation where the nervous system is competing against itself. Patients that have no sensation uh, in their lower extremities uh, would not be able to feel a painful stimulus like a pressure up against the skin or a blocked catheter or maybe constipation. But the sympathetic nervous system, which is a separate system uh, in a way from the spine, uh, from the spinal cord, does recognize that there's an issue. And the sympathetic nervous system says, look, there's a problem, and, it, and it, it's that, flight, that, that fight or flight response. It clamps down the blood vessels and uh, prepares the body for the, the painful stimulus. The brain doesn't know that this is happening, and so it says, wait a second, the blood pressure shouldn't be going up, and it triggers uh, a separate set of responses that cause the veins and the arteries to dilate and the um, heart rate to go down and the patient gets some flushing of the skin and, and sweating above the level of their injury. Aside from the pathophysiology of it, just think about two different parts of the nervous system competing against each other. One part recognizes a painful stimulus, which is the sympathetic nervous system, and the other part, the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord, does not. Patients with autonomic dysreflexia will have usually a bad headache, they'll have a high blood pressure, they'll be sweating, and have a relatively low heart rate. Uh, and if a patient is experiencing these symptoms, the first thing to do is to sit them up to address for any painful stimuli like a blocked catheter or a pressure on the skin, to loosen any clothing that's causing restriction on the lower extremities, and see what the response is. And if there's not an improvement, uh, then to consider alerting the EMS because this is a life-threatening problem and may need uh, some more advanced treatment. Um, patients that have spinal cord injury below T6 usually don't get autonomic dysreflexia, uh, but it is something for patients with spinal cord injury involving the cervical spine down to about T6 should recognize as a possible complication that, that requires uh, immediate intervention. <laughs>